Good morning, Shabbat Shalom. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Rosh Pina. I've been here for the entire time of the quarantine, just hanging it out and just enjoying at least the beautiful things that this place has to offer. And I wanted to take you on a tour and show you all the gorgeous things. Whoa, look at this garden. What? I'm not in a city. Mm -mm. Wow, it's been really, really fun to sit out here. Here's my little chair. I'll be sitting here sort of uh, working on the computer, taking in this greenery. And I've actually been doing a lot of cutting and drying. So I'll show you some of the things that we have in here. This is a beautiful tea bush and it's called Louisa. I don't know how you say it in English. Um, most of these plant names I learned while I've been in Israel because in the States I lived in New York in concrete jungle and I don't think I could tell the difference between a single tree. So this is really nice fresh or dried. Here we just have these beautiful little flowers and this is my favorite bush. This is Za'atar, a Mediterranean version of oregano which is actually planted right next to it. Zatal is really great. Dry it and um, add oil and sesame seeds and it's just a beautiful kind of dip for breads and stuff like that. But you can also drink it as a tea and you can also dry it and just add it in your cooking or uh, you can use it as a fresh herb for salads like a tomato and feta salad. It's really really lovely and I'll show you inside. I've been drying it. This is uh, the table where I dry things. This zata is like just a little bit amount of what was here before. It was completely full. What I do is I kind of just dry it as is and then I just rip off the little leaves from it. And then here I have some spearmint which I found randomly growing and these beautiful beautiful flowers. These are the purple flowers that come from sage leaves and these are the purple flowers that come from lavender and then you have these oh, gorgeous orange ones, which I have no idea what they're called. So if you know, please let me know. I told you about the zata that I had dry. I managed from all the table I was drying to just fill up this bag and this one. And I gave a small jar to a friend. But really when you're drying a large quantity of greens and herbs and things like that, not much is left. So if you're doing a drying project, Definitely be sure to dry a lot so that you have a lot to share. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy to receive those things. It's definitely been a blessing to be able to stay in such a beautiful place and enjoy the outdoors a little bit in the garden. Um, I know that the lockdown has not been simple for anyone. As a traveling musician and just always on the go and always on the run, it's definitely felt a little bit lonely at times. And at the same time, I think we can all relate that it's really nice to hibernate in our homes for a second and just focus on things that we wanted to do that we didn't get a chance to do for a very long time. For me, that was just uh, doing a lot of drying of herbs and cooking and alternatively learning a lot of new skills on the internet, which I'm sure that you guys have also been up to. I mean, everyone to their interest and to their trade. I wanted to say a little hello and I miss you. So I just hope you're well and I'm sending you a big, big hug from Roshpina. Take care.